Okay, so this is the build video for this um, two transistor oscillator circuit. I kind of am uh, enamored of this circuit because it's so steampunk and sort of old school because it's using discrete components instead of a chip or a programmable unit. It's just all of these discrete units. Each of these transistors, when one of them discharges, it pulls the charge off the other one and allows it to uh, restart its charging cycle. So they kind of go back and forth like a kind of seesaw, which you can see in the schematic diagram. So uh, I decided I would start this by setting up the two transistors and then wiring their emitters to ground. So you can see that we have them here with the emitter for each of these transistors going to ground, which is where they're going to be discharging when the transistor switches on. And then I'm going to start by connecting their base pins across our seesaw. Next I'm going to just do the left side that's uh, talking to this transistor and then I'll do the right hand side. So on the left side I see that uh, the collector of this transistor is uh, connected to a capacitor and that capacitor is going through a resistor to connect to the base of this transistor. Since current is going from the red rail down to out the emitter here in the base, I want to make sure that the capacitor has the negative pole uh, going into the collector of that transistor. I have a resistor here that's going to protect the transistor from having too much base emitter current going through it. The other place that this negative leg of the cap is connected is through a 1k resistor to the red rail. And then the last component on this side is that there's two legs of a pot, so this is a variable resistor that's being connected between the resistor there that's going to the base and also to the red rail. So I'm just using the wiper and one of the outer legs of that pot. Now turning to the other side of the circuit, I see that the collector on the right hand side here is going to a capacitor and its negative leg is going over to that wire that's connected to the base on the other side, on, on the base of the other transistor. And this junction of that more negative uh, leg of the cap that's going to the base of that transistor is going to the red rail through a 10k resistor which is brown black orange and the more positive leg of the cap is going through an LED that is connected to the red rail through a resistor to protect the LED that's a 220 ohm or a red, red, brown resistor. Now, if all went well, according to our construction here, when we plug this in, it should oscillate. Ah, oh, yes, it does. And if I rotate the pot, I get different frequencies. Oh boy, old school two transistor oscillator. Now imagine trying making a television set out of these kind of components.